welcome back to my channel for part two of the CRCST study guide series. So, I feel like every time I start off a video, I'm saying it's long overdue because it definitely is. It's been three weeks since I posted my last video. And as I told you guys before, I had stuff to do. I had to recertify my certification, my CRCSD certification, and I had to have 12 continuing education credits. And it's hard for me to focus. I'll be the first one to tell you I'm all over the place. Just as though sometimes when I'm talking to you guys, I'm all over the place. Yes, that's how I am in real life. And I'm really trying to get it together. So I had to do what I need to do so I could stay certified and also do my continuing education credits and all those kind of things you need 10 credits but you know what I love about it every year we have to recertify and what I really do love about it is refreshes your memory refreshes your knowledge refresh what you know and just make you a better technician overall and that's what I love with um ISHIM CRCSD certification every single year you have to submit 12 credits 12 continuing education credits so as I spoke spoke about in my previous video I said you have chapters that carry the most weight but let's pause for a second here Let's pause. I didn't introduce myself. Hi, my name is Delisha. I do all things sterile processing here, lifestyle vlogs and motivation. We haven't gotten to the lifestyle vlogs yet, but you know, your girl is here doing their thing and I hope to get to that side of things, but I love talking about sterile processing, so why not? Um, so if you are new here, please do go ahead and subscribe and like this video and it helps with the YouTube algorithm and all these behind the scenes things that I'm learning about that's actually important. So thank you for all those who have already subscribed already. Thank you so much for your support. And for those who haven't, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I love quotes. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but I love, love, love quotes. Like love it. So I have this little thing here. Not sure, you know, I think I got it when I was like at Carvel's or some ear piercing store and they were having a sale or something. But if you can't really see it, I can read what's on it. And it's for those who are studying for something, for those who need some type of inspiration, some type of motivation. It says, it's actually even dusty, but anyways, it says, always remember you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Meaning, believe in yourself. Do not doubt yourself. You can do this. You got this. Whether you're studying for CRCSD, whatever you're studying for, whatever your dreams, goals, and aspirations are, always remember, believe in yourself. It starts with you. It doesn't matter what the outside noises are saying. It doesn't matter what's going, around, going on around you. Once you believe in yourself, that's enough. And God too. He helps along the way. So I hope that encourages someone today. So let's get into the meat of the matter. This book... <laughs> this book and as I spoke about in my previous video I said there are chapters that carry different weight meaning the percentage is much higher you get more of those questions and I wrote down those chapters for you guys today because hey and again I'll put in the link for HSP for Ishim which is no longer called Ishim it's called HSP so it's called Healthcare Sterile Processing Association. I have to get used to that word. And one of the cool things when you are certified with um, Healthcare Sterile Processing Association, HSB, each year when you renew your certification, you can also pay for their magazine. It's called Process. And this magazine is very informative. Very, very informative. It even have 
it have or has test questions for the CRCSD for the certified endoscope technician, the CER, the certified endoscope reprocessing technician questions, CHL. These are other certifications that you can take even before you take CRCST and after you take the CRCST. These um, certifications are available to you. So this is it, it's called process. And again, has some great stuff in there. Great information about instruments, decontamination, about just, they have varying topics along the way in each edition and it's called process it's ten dollars to be a member outside of paying the fifty dollars for your recertification so if you're interested in that which i think it's cool just to have it has information that could help you along the way so let's get into the meat of the matter as i said before so i looked up on the the hsp website and i found out the information about the chapters that carry the most weight and you can do the same as I get again I said you can click the link in the description link click the link in the description section below and you will see it will bring you right to the website but I make notes of myself because I don't want to forget so the chapters that carry the most weight cleaning decontamination disinfection it says 20 percent of the exam it's about that so cleaning decontamination and disinfection and when i tell you these chapters are very important and that's why i said in my previous video you don't necessarily have to study from chapter one chapter two chapter three i get to the meat of the matter the ones that carry the most weight because guess what the contents are very very big more meaty chapters okay and then you have preparation and packaging that's also 20 percent sterilization process is 20 percent so we have cleaning decontamination disinfection preparation and packaging and sterilization process those chapters are meaty chapters and they carry the most weight in the exams so I would advise you, if you're studying, get to those chapters. And one of the tips that I can definitely say, quiz yourself as often as possible. Each section that you're going through, as soon as you finish reading it, quiz yourself. Whether you have the study manual, which does go with that book that I showed you guys already, or you go on Quizlet. And there's another website app or website that's called Pro Profess. You can go on there, put in CRCST, and I'll link all these in the um, description link below. Go on there, download Quizlet on your phone. You'll have something with you everywhere you go. You don't have to be like me who did the old school way and just brought papers with me. I'm like a paper lady, a bag lady, always just bringing a bunch of stuff with me for no reason because I feel like I'm just gonna need everything that I bring with me. Like, leave nothing behind, but you don't have to do that it's right there on your phone it will be available so when you each chapter you go over i implore you to make sure that you're testing yourself as often as possible reason being you know what questions are difficult for you and the ones that you got in the bag the ones that you know already you got it down pat but if you don't quiz yourself or test yourself how are you gonna know what you learned or the knowledge or the understanding that you have of that chapter specifically because as i said before if you're new to this field this book is very meaty there's some stuff that you might not understand so testing yourself reinforces what you know and what you don't know and what you don't know it's okay remember on the exam your aim is never if if your aim is to get everything right god bless you my aim is never to get everything right my aim is to do my best answer as much as i can correctly but i'm not looking for 100 percent. honestly i'm really not that's just me i strive for progress not perfection because perfection is an illusion but i'm not trying to ace the test i'm trying to pass the test so 
that's what I'm focused on, the meteor chapters. Not saying that the other chapters are not important, but they don't carry as much weight in the exam. Those questions don't pop up like how the previous chapters that I spoke about have a lot of question. They have a lot of questions. So that's what I encourage you to do. The meaty chapters, focus on those. I'll put them in the description link below. And guys, test yourself as often as possible. I cannot, I cannot emphasize that enough. Test yourself as often as possible. That's how you're gonna know what you know and what you don't know. And again, I wish you guys all the best. Please leave in the um, comment sections your questions I answer. I love to interact with you guys in the comment section. And remember, I say if you don't want to ask a question there in the description link, you can go right ahead and follow me at Delisha underscore Walters on Instagram. And you can DM me because I know some people are private and they don't because there's no stupid question. Just to let you know, there's no stupid question. If you don't know something, you just don't know something. So thank you guys for watching and focus on the meteor chapters. I don't know if you guys want me to go like summarize these chapters for you. Let me know so I can bring you guys those videos of the summary of the chapters and what they really are about. Let me know as soon as possible. So in the next video, I'll bring you that information. Once again, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And for those who, who've already done so, thank you. And if you didn't, what are you waiting on? God bless you guys and you have a fantastic rest of the day, morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. Bye!